Hey, Drecky here, and this is the first video in a series of Real vs. Fake 4K. Today we're looking at what Novatech NT96660 4K looks like versus Real 4K. First up, we're going to take a look at the thigh eye video. Here's Real 4K what it looks like in 30 frames per second. This camera is my baseline for video quality and budget action cameras due to its excellent video quality and attractive price. But it too is not without its flaws. However, for the sake of comparison, it's a very good camera to look at because it has real 4K. It's based on an Amberella processor versus the other camera which is Novatech. Now let's take a look at the Novatech video from one of the better Novatech cameras I've tested. The NT96660 is a processor that's seen in some of the better budget action cameras, however it cannot film real 4K despite how these cameras are advertised. The difference is that it only films at 24 frames per second, and the resolution is 2880 width instead of 3840. That means that the video is recorded in a smaller rectangle and then expanded to fit the aspect ratio of your screen. Overall, a lower frame rate results in less smooth video, and this expansion results in less detail. I'm going to do this at a 100% crop too for those of you who are on 1080p or smaller screens. So this is a 100% crop of the Thigh-Eye T5E's 4K video. I'm only going to keep this on for a couple seconds because it's more important to see what the Novatech looks like afterwards. Keep in mind that the image sensor also plays a big role into how good the 4K is, because 4K requires 8 megapixels of data. However, many cameras have a lower resolution image sensor that's only 4 megapixels despite the cameras being advertised as higher resolution. So if they don't have at least 8 megapixels, they're not going to be capable of real 4K either. This includes cameras based on the Amberella platform, or the Novatech platform, or any platform out there. And now this is a 100% crop of the Novatech 4K video. As you can see, again, there's less detail because it's weirdly stretched. You won't be able to see the stretching because of the way the camera records the data. However, it is quite visible that there are less details and less resolution overall. For the record, the NT96660 is in several popular cameras such as the GitHub Git 2 Pro, the SJCam SJ5000X Elite, the SJCam M20, the Explorer 1S, many cameras use this processor, and all of those cameras have this weird cropped 4K resolution that just isn't as good as real 4K. However, all of those cameras do have pretty good 1080p60 and 1440p30. Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.